Hey everybody, I'm Nate Warnock. I'm Andrea Warnock. And you're with us on Thirsty Thursday. This is a show that we do every week on Marriage by Design, where we take a look at a passage in the Bible and how it relates to marriage and or the family. Right, so this month we're talking about Song of Solomon. So instead of just one passage, we're talking about a whole book. And in the first week, we kind of just opened it up. And then last week, we talked about pursuit, the theme of pursuit that we can see in Song of Solomon. And then um, this week, we're going to talk about the theme of sex, which is all over Song of Solomon. Um, and then next week, we'll talk about purity, which is another theme that we see in this book. So really just focusing on the themes that we see in the book of Sol- Song of Solomon. And Nathan has something um that he's going to talk about in regards to to um, sex, right? Right, in, that's in right. In this book? And that's right. What you got out of Want that? me to go for it? Yeah, sure. Okay. That'd be great. So for me, as it and I specifically tried to hone in on the parts of Song of Solomon that were by either yeah. Solomon or the male, the yeah. husband figure, the fiancé and then husband figure. The beloved. The beloved. And the thing that I noticed about him is... He is, while a lot of the language that he uses is overtly sexual, Mm -hmm. um, he admires her beauty. He goes from head to toe, just going down and saying all the things he loves Mm -hmm. about her, including the areas that undoubtedly were, you know, as, as sexual back then as they are now. Um, and so, you know, his, he has a lot of sexual undertones and the things that he's saying, because he's a guy and he sees those things and he loves those things about her. But the thing that I want to share that struck me as I read through the things that he's saying is it is her focused, Mm. like his view towards their sexuality is focused on her on pleasing her yeah right now he doesn't you know go into like the okay well what's going to happen is i'm going to do this and then you're going to you know (laughs) that's it's not that but you can see it in the words that he uses when it comes to sex he's focused on her right you don't see in here like hey are we going to do this or what Right, I mean, you don't see like the, you know, and and look at you guys. No, you guys can it's a slow build up. Right, I mean, you can laugh, but we all know, like, it can get to that place, particularly in marriage, really easily, where Which it's is, like, right, right, where it's like, are we gonna? I mean, what are we? <laughs> Which is are fine we gonna have sometimes. Sex, are we gonna have sex now, or, or, or I'm just gonna go watch TV. Right, right, like it can get to that place, and I'm, and again, uh, you know. I'm guessing, even if he were to do this this whole, you know, your belly is a heap of wheat encircled with lilies, <laughs> which, I mean, that gets Andrea every time. Yes, it does. Every time Nathan says that to me, I'm like, oh, we got to go upstairs. That's right. I mean, your, <laughs> babe, your navel is a rounded bowl that never lacks mixed wine. Oh, yes. Am you I right? Belly button shot. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds um, like. Right. So, so you know, but these were the things were beautiful to them, right? I mean, you know, having, be, having, being a little thick as a woman was a sign of beauty because. Let's bring that back. Beca- because it showed, <laughs> you know, that you had money to be able to sit, right? And you can tell she's probably kind of middle upper class because she's had to work. Right, I mean, it's we talked about that yeah. last week. She was right. darker skinned because she had to work, but he also points out like she has rounded thighs right. and she's got a belly and all, and he loves that about her. Um, so you know, but if he did that every time, right? I mean, if every time I walked in to the kitchen or you know our our bedroom when you know wherever you were and went, babe, your breasts are like two fawns <laughs> dancing in the lilies, and every time that was how I you know, started trying to seduce you, at some point you're like, okay, it was great the first, you know, like, that was great, but do something else. Right. 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 And really the thing that struck me about this is it doesn't, you know, it's not lazy, right? I mean, he picks, some of these things are repeated, right? There are apparently some things he really liked (laughs) that he kept coming back to. But a lot of these things were, were different in each different time you see him say it like he's telling her new things it's not a lazy he's not getting lazy on like the you know 
just the same line every time. Yes. Um, and so the application then for us as husbands is to not let our sex lives with our wives become routine mm-hmm. or um, predictable. Yeah. Right. And it, that's hard. I mean, I'm a, I'm admitting that I don't do this right, and we've had some really hard times in our marriage, you know, because I don't do this correctly all the time. And it's easy to get in a place where it's like, I'm busy, Andrea is busy, like. You know, wink twice if you want to go upstairs, and we'll that'll be good enough, right? It, it, it can become like I know what works, so I'm just going to fall in that every time. Exactly. Yeah. Right. That's exactly right. Um, and in that is a minimizing of something that that the beloved in this really understood, which is the lead up to sex is important mm-hmm. to her. Yes. And so the whole like, idea of like, well, look, we'll just go upstairs and then the magic will start happening and it'll be different every time and all that. Well, the problem is we minimize then something that he didn't minimize with regards right. to his beloved and that that lead up, that him telling her all the things he loved about her and the butterflies she almost certainly f- felt in that. We know she did because she said she loved him so much it made her sick, mm-hmm. right? Like all of that lead up was super meaningful to her in knitting them together. Right. It's the same today. Well, I mean, in, in our relationships, like, you know, pursuing our wife and, and trying to give those butterflies to her and building up to sex instead of just, Hey, sex is just something I need. So you know, let's just set a f- alarm, the phone in your alarm on your phone for every night at eight twenty, right? I mean, or whatever, right? I mean, that's really trying to pursue our wives in that area is something that probably all of us can yeah. grow in as men. Cool. And maybe it's just me. You're welcome to put in the comments. It's just, just you. you. <laughs> okay, my the portion I want to concentrate on is chapter seven. Starting in verse 10, and it's her talking. It's the Shulamite woman that's talking, and she says, I belong to my beloved, and his desire is for me. Come, my beloved, let us go to the countryside. Let us spend the night in the villages. Let us go early to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded, if their blossoms have opened, and if the pomegranates are in bloom. There I will give you my love. The mandrakes send out their fragrance, and at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. Wow. So, first of all, she's saying a beautiful thing. She's saying, I belong to him, and... I know he desires me. His desire is for me. And that's because he's, and that's because of what we see in the rest of the book, because he makes it so obvious. I desire you and, and my heart is yours. So she's confident in that. And then she says, come my beloved, let us go to the countryside. She, they want to take a little week. She wants to take a little weekend away and she's initiating it. So she's, She's saying, we're going to go away and we're going to have a little love weekend together in the countryside. And she's then kind of building it up. This is what we're going to do. Um, So let's go to the countryside and spend the night in the villages. Let's go have fun. Get out of the normal routine and just have some time away. Um, Saying, let's go to the vineyards. Maybe they're going to go have an excursion. (laughs) Well, they're having an excursion. (laughs) doing something out of the ordinary they're going to enjoy their time together just the two of them in a different location go to the vineyards to see if the vines have budded and if their blossoms have opened um and then she talks about the pomegranates and then she's and then and then i'm gonna we're gonna have sex there so we're gonna enjoy excursion and i'm gonna give myself to you so it's kind of this like I want us to go away, and I want you to know some of my intent for this. Yeah. I want you to know that I'm pursuing you sexually, too. Right. And in our relationship to have this time away, I'm initiating. It's important to me. And so we're going we're gonna to have fun and, and in every way, yeah. right? that's great. So then she talks about, um, so there I will give you my love. So she, it, she's just making it obvious. And I love that, too. Like, we don't need to hide the ball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we can make it obvious what we want. And then talks about mandrakes, which is talked about in other parts of the Bible, too. Is It can be an aphrodisiac. 
So um, maybe she was wanting some what we consider like oysters <laughs> to be part of their night. And then, and then she said, at our door is every delicacy, both new and old, that I have stored up for you, my beloved. I don't know exactly what that means, but what I read into that, personally, what I see is the world of sex is open to us. Mm. And let's do maybe some things that we've done before, but maybe let's explore some things that we haven't. And she's saying, um, at every, everything is, is open to us let's do it (laughs) let's like i've i've we have these things that we can do between the two of us so so let's let's revisit some old things and Mm, let's explore some new things about each other that's great and that's a great that's a beautiful thing about the sexual relationship between a husband and a wife is that the way god set it up is they're supposed to be full trust and and full openness between the two of you so that there's comfortability in let's do new things let's explore this whole world which is vast in every way what you can do and and how things feel and all that sort of thing and let's just enjoy each other by exploring that yeah and so what i read there is we have things we haven't done let's do them it's good you know, it's great. Um, so lots in those just few verses about her side of the sexual relationship that she had with her beloved. Yeah, it's awesome. It's great. Anything else? No, I think you nailed right. it. It's so great. Some, yeah, some really great takeaways from Song of Solomon yep. uh, it, that we can apply to our sexual relationships with our spouses and with our spouses only. But one of you know a great thing is is just making sure that your spouse knows how much you desire them and love them and what you think about them and then initiating and exploring all the the world of sex that you have before you. That's great. Yeah, thanks for joining us for Song of Solomon. We'll see you tomorrow for Family Friday and um, then have a great weekend. That's right. Hey, thanks for joining us on Marriage by Design. If you were impacted by this video, like it by hitting the thumbs up below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And once you subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new episodes release. Excellent. Also, one of the huge pillars of our show is interactivity between us and you. So we would love you to comment down in the comments below if you have thoughts about this video or if you have questions or other things you'd like to like to see considered in the future. In addition, if you'd like, you can email us. That's marriagebydesignpodcast at gmail.com. We're also on Instagram at marriagebydesignpodcast, or you can find us on Facebook by searching Marriage by Design Podcast. Finally, if you want to, you can tweet at us. We do have a Twitter account. That is at marriagexdesign. Thanks, and have a great day.